I've always wanted to build an igloo. I've always wondered how you keep warm in an igloo. <laughs> it's made of so, ice. <laughs> Scott, okay, this is a good weather whiz kid for us. That's a great question. It really is. And, and we're, we're not just, well, we have to talk about the properties of snow and ice. And so that's really what we're getting at with tonight's question from our weather whiz kid from Liberty Elementary. Hi, my name is Carson. I go to Liberty Elementary. My question is, I know people build, it, build igloos to stay warm. Does snow cover make the air above it warmer or colder? Wow, good question, Carson. He was a little chilly out there outside. I think he wanted an igloo himself to stay warm. Uh, so, so how does the snow cover affect the warmth? Is it the snow cover below uh, on the ground that's hitting you warm or, or the ice above or, or the snowpack above? So let's first of all detail what's going on with snow cover and how it works here, okay? So when you have snow on the ground, the sun cannot warm the ground. This is what we've had over the past several weeks. And so that radiation gets uh, uh, sent away. We have a colder temperature typically, and the warmth is now below ground here. When you have bare ground, the sun is warming the ground, so it warms the ground, and we don't have snow. We can radiate the heat out. We actually are warmer when we don't have snow on the ground. So when we have that fresh snow cover, that acts as an insulator. So here's our source of warmth. The ground is warmer underneath here, so it's colder aloft, and any energy that comes from the sun that does get into the snow just tends to radiate away at night, and so it gets much colder at night. There's warmth in the ground, which, by the way, when you have a uh, snow cover like this, it helps to keep plants and trees when you have a solid a snow cover for a long time. It keeps them healthier uh, when you have freezing and melting and freezing and melting can cause some problems uh, with trees and damage them in that type of situation. So when you're dealing with igloos, how exactly is it working? We have chunks of snow. Now snow, even when you compress it into these blocks like this for an igloo, this is a really cool one right here by the way, it looks like it's a satellite dish, you still only have about 30% water content. Typically it's about 8% water, it's mostly air. Air. And air is a good insulator to keep the cold out, okay? The ice does not do a good job keeping cold out. So this is snow on the outside, but the inside you can actually have a fire inside an igloo or the body warmth will help to keep it warm inside. It can melt a little layer inside the igloo and that will actually refreeze because of the intense cold outside. And so you get a layer of ice on the inside and you have warm air pockets inside or air pockets inside the snow on the outside keeping the, the cold out. So we're keeping the cold out, we're keeping the warmth in and you can actually have a temperature of 50 degrees below zero outside, which this polar bear doesn't seem to mind, and just the body heat alone inside can warm up an igloo up to 60 degrees while it's 50 below outside. So you see how we've got two things going on here. We've got the ice keeping the warmth in because it doesn't transfer heat very well, and the snow, the air pockets inside the snow on the outside, keeping the cold air out. You know what the bear is thinking, right? Dinner time? <laughs> Hungry? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crunchy on the outside, <laughs> chewy on the inside. You got it. <laughs> Coming up next on Fox 9 on your side, it's one of the best-selling 